टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया पार्ट सेवन चैप्टर नंबर टू सब्जेक्ट और थ्री वन फोर वन नाइन जीरो सेवन फंडामेंटल ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन एंड न्यू सिलेबस फॉर द जी टी यू सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स टेक क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ द शेडेड एरिया विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द एक्स एक्सिस आई शोन इन फिगर द वेटेज ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जामिनेशन इज फोर मार्क्स so this figure is given to you and this is the shaded area so we want to find the moment of inertia of the shaded area with respect to x axis so this is your x axis so with respect to x axis we want to find the moment of inertia of the given figure so first of all draw the rough figure that is given to you so first try to understand how we can find this moment of inertia of the shaded area with respect to x x axis first so this is your reference axis x x and if i want to find the moment of inertia of the whole rectangle first without considering this cut out so this whole rectangle so i can say this is the moment of inertia of the rectangle about x x axis so first i am going to find this one then minus moment of inertia of this semicircle So I can say this is the moment of inertia of the semicircle about the x-axis. So moment of inertia of the whole rectangle minus moment of inertia of the semicircle. So I will get the moment of inertia of this shaded area, and that will be my answer. Moment of inertia of the entire composite lamina about x-axis. So first I will get this. That means moment of inertia of the rectangle about x-axis. then moment of inertia of the semicircle about the x x axis and so that i will get the moment of inertia of the entire lamina so this is the figure that is given to you so first find out the moment of inertia of the whole rectangle about the x x axis so say for example this is the cg of the rectangle so you can say this is the centroidal axis of the rectangle now here we want to find the moment of inertia of the rectangle about x x axis and here it is your cg so perpendicular distance between these two axes and so that you have to use the parallel axis theorem so i x x1 is equal to ig plus h square so here you can say ig means moment of inertia about its centroidal axis so you know that formula for the rectangle is bd cube by 12 b means it is 240 and d means it is depth 120 so bd cube by 12 area of the rectangle that is length into width so 240 into 120 and h is the distance between these two axes and you know that this whole distance is 120 so this is the half distance 60 so you can find the value of i x x1 is 138.24 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 now let's turn for the part 2 so this is semicircle and i want to find the moment of inertia about x x axis and this distance is given to you in the figure is 120 so let's say this is the one axis that is passing through the center of this semicircle and that is ab so now your cg of the semicircle is over here and if i want to draw the axis passing through the cg of the semicircle then this is your centroidal axis of the semicircle and the distance from ab to the centroidal axis is you know that this is 4r upon 3 pi for the semicircle you have to remember this distance is 4r upon 3 pi so the radius is given to you as 90 so 4 into 90 by 3 pi and you will get 38.2 and so that this distance is 120 minus 38.2 so you can say it is 81.8 mm so now as you know that the moment of inertia of the semicircle about the ab that is equal to pi by 64 d raised to 4 divided by 2 because of you know that for the circle the moment of inertia is pi by 64 d raised to 4 here it is semicircle so it is divided by 2 keep in mind that here moment of inertia with reference to ab 
so there will be no any parallel axis theorem that means plus h square only pi by 64 d raised to 4 by 2 so if you simplify it then you will get this one 25.76 into 10 to 6 mm raised to 4 so once you got this iab then you can find ig that means moment of inertia of the semicircle about its centroidal axis so keep in mind that if you want to find the moment of inertia of the semicircle about the centroidal axis then this is the formula and that you have to remember ig is equal to iab minus h square keep in mind that this formula is not parallel axis theorem here in parallel axis theorem it is plus but this formula is the moment of inertia particularly for the semicircle about say centroidal axis and here it is minus so iab so already you have the value so you can put it over here 25.76 into 10 raised to 6 minus area of the semicircle so it is pi by 4 d square divided by 2 because of pi by 4 d square is the area of the circle and this is half of this one into h h that means the distance between these two axes so if you simplify it then you will get ig 7.20 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so this ig once again i am going to repeat ig means moment of inertia of the semicircle about its centroidal axis and actually we want to find the moment of inertia of the semicircle about the xx axis so now i can use the parallel axis theorem so ixx2 is equal to ig plus h square so already we have the value of ig so i can put it over here ig plus area of the semicircle you know that pi by 4 d square by 2 and h square that is now the distance between these two axes and that is 81.8 whole square and if you simplify it then you will get 92.3 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so now you have the value of ixx1 and ixx2 so now you can find the final value of moment of inertia of the shaded area is ixx1 minus ixx2 as we have discussed initially so now put the value of ixx1 and ixx2 and simplify so you will get 45.9 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and this is your final ixx so i can say it is equal to ixx and make a box so this is your final answer that means moment of inertia of the shaded area about the xx axis so thanks my dear friends